Hello, I am David W. Parker, and this is Programming Today I Learned, WebGL series, episode 50. This is part two of looking at simultaneous textures. Today we're going to be just playing two textures side by side within the same canvas object. Um, so the main difference here is instead of having two sampler 2Ds, we're just going to have the single one once again. Uh, jumping into our program here, everything should look pretty familiar from the last few couple episodes. The main difference here is we're not going to init our vertex uh, buffers here in our main function. We're going to jump right to init textures and I'm calling draw afterward. And we don't need to pass any arguments because we don't have any in values returned from the vertex buffers. Um, everything here is the exact same. So dealing with promises and getting our images and our textures loaded, as well as loading our textures here. Afterward, we have our callback, which is calling the draw function with any arguments. We have none. And so here's the um, where the difference is coming into play. So we're gonna have two different textures, and here's the uh, the points uh, vertices for each, and the texture vertices for each. And you'll see that the texture vertices line up, but the point ones do not. However, you can see that we'll have one displayed from negative one to zero, and halfway up and down the screen, and one from zero to one displayed ha up halfway and down the the uh, screen. We'll go ahead and grab our one and only sampler, use the program and clear the co co uh, color, buff color buffer bit, and now we'll finally call init, init vertex buffers with the first set of data, and then we'll go ahead and get the in value back from that, and go ahead and set that to the texture zero, grab the first texture out, call the sampler on it, and go ahead and draw it, and then we'll repeat the whole process with the second array, as well as the second texture, and the second set of in, which could actually just be hard coded for four for each of those because we already know what it's going to be. But anyway, the important thing is to have um, this information here as displayed as the sampler zero both times that we're reusing, as well as grabbing the first texture and then the second texture respectively. And by using the net vertex buffers here. What that's going to do is set the currently active attributes to that particular buffer and bind the buffer, which is going to allow us to display one texture, and then by binding the buffer again, we're going to be able to display the second set. So you can see here, this is the final result, just like the last one, we have two. Now you'll, you'll notice that there's a lot of uh, iteration in each of these, so what you could actually do is we can comment that out. We can do this whole thing again and do it in a loop. So we can see there's uh, two different images here. We can even save points. Um, this should actually be, I believe I renamed it to array. So if we say array zero and array one, and then you'll see that um, we have the exact same thing going on but we're going to be grabbing the first array, and then we have plus i here and i, as well as n, which is from here, and the sampler of i here. Um, this actually needs to just be zero. And you can see when we go ahead and refresh this now, we have double the first one. Actually, that does need to be i. <laughs> So, and that's because we have the different texture for each. So that's basically it for this episode. Um, the init vertex buffers down here does the exact same thing as before. The only thing moving we've moved out the in uh, to be here. And um, if you have any questions, uh, go ahead and leave a comment. If you like what you saw today, give me a like, uh, subscribe, share on social media if you will and sign up for my newsletter. Have a great one. Thanks.